Well, hi everybody, it's Marcella Jacquette here and I am doing a 25 random things about me tag for you guys just so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and we can kind of interact off based off of this video. If I like a song, I'll play it over and 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 over like I play Janelle Monae's CD, Electric Lady, back to back to back to back. So bad that now the CD skips. That's how much I play that CD. Cause I love it. And then I bought it again. And I'm gonna play that CD out again too. So yeah. I didn't start wearing makeup until I was in high school uh, for prom. Cause before that I did not wear any makeup. And I'm gonna show you guys some pictures so you can see how I looked when I was in high school. I like to shop a lot. I'm not as bad as I used to be though, like when it comes to shopping. Like I used to be really, really bad. Like really, really bad. Like I used to go shopping every weekend and I had to stop that. Like it was just not good on my pockets and on my mentality because I just felt like I, I used to buy stuff and have new stuff in my closet just sitting there and I never would wear it or never would use it. So I had to stop doing that. My favorite singer of all time is Sade. I love her. If you don't listen to her, go check out some of her stuff. My favorite song from her is uh, Love is Stronger Than Pride. Y'all, that song makes my heart melt. I love Love is Stronger Than Pride. And your love is king. Your love is king. Crown you in my heart. Your love is king. Anyway. I love Sade. She's my favorite singer of all time. Love, love, love Janelle Monae, but Sade is my favorite singer. I'm a kid at heart. Like, I love to watch Yo Gabba Gabba with my nephews. Sometimes when I'm alone, I will watch it. I'm not even going to front. I do watch Yo Gabba Gabba by myself sometimes. The only thing that I have pierced on my body is my ears and my nose, and that is it. I had my belly button pierced before, but one, one of my previous boyfriends, we were wrestling and it like ripped, like ripped. And there was like only a thin piece of skin holding my belly ring in. So after that, I took it out and I was like, I don't want this no more. Nope, because that can't happen again. As far as tattoos, I have zero zilch tattoos. I love driving guys. Like my job that I have, I drive a lot. I drive all around the state of North Carolina to like do my job. But I just love driving. I don't know why I do, but I just love driving. I am a question asker, but I ask questions y'all. Like, what if someone like dropped the planet on your head? What would you say to that? And then people like give me these funny responses. That's why I ask questions. Like, I think it's funny to hear people's responses. So that's why I do that. But yeah, it's funny. I, my mom said I've always been a question asker ever since I was a little tiny itty bitty girl. I have a girl best friend and I have a guy best friend. When I'm hungry, I have two modes. One mode is beast mode, like, Aah! or I can be really funny and just be really overly goofy and just laugh at like literally everything. So that's my two modes. What mode do I usually get in when I'm hungry? Usually beast mode. I used to be a tomboy growing up because I had I have three older brothers and before my sister was born, it was just us. It was just me and the boys for the longest. And then even when she came, she was a little baby, so I couldn't play with her like I could my brothers because I loved to wrestle with my brothers, play video games with my brothers, fight with my brothers. Um, whatever they did, I did. I was a little tomboy for the longest. I mean, I climbed trees beat boys up i mean you name it i was just a tomboy for the longest i'm not picky when it comes to eating food i like all types of food i can tell you more so what i don't like than what i do like because the list of what i don't like is smaller than what i do like because there's like i said there's just not much i won't eat i got picked on when i was in school i got picked on a lot though because i have full lips and i mean i've had a couple of people pick on my nose but not as much as my lips. I've had a lot of people when I was in school pick on my lips and that was kind of rough because I used to go home and like cry to my mom and 
I used to cry and be and say, Mom, like, I don't understand why people are picking up my lips. And then I would just be so upset. And she would be like, you know what? You don't cry. Don't cry. Because women pay a lot of money to have lips like yours. And your lips are beautiful. And I love your lips. And then after that, I was cool about it. And I let it go. So when I went to school and people picked on me, I was like, whatever. So I like watching football on Sunday. I don't care who's playing. I don't care who's winning or who's losing. I just like to watch it on Sundays. Just on Sundays, just lay in my bed and just watch football on TV. I don't know why I like that, but I do. I have my own personal concerts inside of my car when I'm driving. I literally rock out and like people, some people love it. Most people do love to watch me in my car when I'm jamming out because I, I zone people out and I, and then I'll see catch somebody watching me or whatever and being like, yeah, that's cool, you're cool. And I'll be like, hey, but then I'll go back to like jamming. And then some people be looking at me like, oh, is she okay, honey? Uh, are you all right? But I mean, I don't know. I just live life and I think it's funny. I like playing in my sister's hair because she has like this thick, flowy, water fountain type hair i mean it's just so pretty like i have to show you guys a picture of her when she was little and she had all that long hair but like her hair is just so pretty and i haven't got to play in a long time you know because we're grown now but that's my next mission i am going to play her hair next time i see her i love to skate skating is one of my favorite things to do I love to skate. It's my favorite thing. When I go, I go to the skate rink usually like sometimes on Saturday nights and mostly Sunday nights because that's when all the grown folks go. I am originally from Denver, Colorado. Cooking and cleaning soothes me. My mom is the type, she loves stuff clean and she likes food cooked. So automatically I was taught to do that. But it kind of soothes me. Like if I'm upset or something and I go clean up or cook something good, um, I'm good, I'm usually good. It'll soothe my mind and just kinda make, have me chill. My pet, when I was a kid, was a bird, and her name was Lucy, and my sister had a bird, and his name was Ricky. My birds died in a fire, but I loved those birds. Like, I really did. I loved them, cause I begged my mom, to, you know, to have them. I beat a boy up when I was in fifth grade, Yes, I did. Let me tell y'all the story. We had to do these um, book report projects, but it wasn't like a regular book report project. It was a book report in the form of a, in the form of like an art project, and they were called bloom balls. And so the bloom balls were like this big, and they were it was paper, and on each like little um, hectagon that made up the bloom ball, it had. Um, the like questions and you answer the question based on what you read in the book and so i had like put so much effort in my bloom ball and i loved my bloom ball and so after we had our bloom balls at school graded we were all everybody was walking home like it was just it always used to be me my little sister and like a group of other kids that used to walk home after school had ended we were all walking home like we usually did but we all had our bloom balls so everybody was like smacking each other's bloom balls and kind of ripping each other's bloom balls. So I was like, y'all, leave my bloom ball. I said, please don't do that. I'm giving mine to my mom. And I remember this stuff like it was yesterday. And this little boy came over and grabbed my bloom ball. Oh man, I told my sister to hold my stuff and I went and grabbed him and I yanked him around in the sand and then I punched him on the top of his head. Y'all, and then he went home and he cried. Y'all, he was crying. He cried. And like now that I'm older, I mean, I, I mean, should I feel bad about that? Like, should I feel bad that I beat up a boy in fifth grade? Cause like literally looking at the story, he should not have done that. He should not have pulled my bloom ball. Cause I asked everybody nicely to leave my bloom ball alone. And he took it upon himself to snatch my bloom ball and try to tear my stuff up. So I, I, I mean, now that I'm older, of course, punching him and saying, making him cry and stuff, that ain't right. But you know what? He should have never put his hand on my stuff. I love steak. I really do. I don't know why. My mom told me that when she was pregnant with me, my dad used to like feed her steak all the time. So I guess that's why I like steak so much. The first year that I got my car, 
I got five speeding tickets. So, yeah, how about that? I got five speeding tickets, and I'm so embarrassed about it because, like, literally, I um, had lead foot, and I just didn't get it in my head that I should have been driving like that, but I was. I took care of it, but, I mean, it was just crazy that I did all of that. My favorite books growing up was, is called um, A Boy Called It by David Peltzer, and I really love that book so much. Y'all, I love that book so much when I read it. I read it on the toilet. I read it when I was walking to school. I read it when I was in the car. And I read it anytime. If you haven't read that book, I would recommend that book because it's a really, really good book. It's one of my favorite books. I'm not the type of person that like to cook with other people in the kitchen. I hate that. I cannot stand cooking with other people in the kitchen while I'm in there. I hate that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed my random 25 facts about me tag. See you guys in my next video. Um, stay tuned and thank you for watching. I hope that you guys like the 25 tag, 25, I hope that you guys like the my random 25, wait, I hope that you, alright, I'm overdoing it. Just ignore me. Okay. Hopefully I got it together now. Okay, sorry y'all, my phone is like doing the most.